G'day, I'm Rowan, Technical Solutions Advisor at Sundew. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the uses of Stardust Pro and the Duckbill Duster attachment. We'll have a look at how to effectively treat skin and roof void, a void in a brick wall through weak holes, and a random void under an old house. As well as the 10 kilogram bucket, Sundew has released Stardust Pro in these handy 400 gram pods. They're used in conjunction with the duckbill dusting attachment. Make sure that before using a dust, you've agitated or fluffed it up. In a pod, just invert it a couple of times, that's plenty. With a bucket, it's slightly more difficult, but if you use your scummel, you can turn the dust over a little before decanting. Remember, you get a free scummel in every bucket of stardust. It's the only dust in Australia to come with a tool to decant. Make sure to tighten the pod to the duckbill firmly. The two are designed to marry together with no leakage. The duckbill's nozzle is designed to fit into the average weep hole. You do need to turn the bottle sideways, so just remember a couple of things. If the pod is full, turn the blow on its side gently to avoid an avalanche of dust being blown into the space. Remember, it's a small void, it won't leave much dust to treat it. A better idea is to use a pod with, say, 10% dust left in it to reduce the risk of over-treatment. Another thing to look out for is that the blower has an intake on one side. So try not to have that side tilted to the ground as it can easily suck dirt, leaves and debris up into the blower and cause damage. The duckbill has been designed to accept this handy attachment, the hose extension. Remember, when you decide to dust in any void to ensure you gather as much information as practical about the void and the safety of applying into it. For example, are you sure that the jip rock on the inside is still actually in place or has it been removed for repairs or renovation? Is there insulation present? In a roof void, are there downlights or other penetrations through the ceiling that might allow dust into areas that you're not intending to treat? As can be seen here, a skillion roof can be very difficult to access with corrugated iron often being a challenge, as well as tiles that may end below the level of the gutter, not allowing a nozzle access. So the hose makes life easy, being able to insert the hose at regular intervals along the edge of the skillion and treating for a short time at each point, maybe two or three seconds. You'll need to treat along much of the length of the skillion, however occasionally one will take you by surprise with a very large spread from one place. Be sure to try and work out if there is insulation in the skillion or if there are any penetrations that might allow dust out. Remember, safety first. I walked around this house looking for the entrance to the subfloor and there wasn't one. A little further investigation uncovered this hole, which when I looked in with a torch, I could see it was accessing straight into the subfloor under the back two rooms of the house. The blower was too large to fit in a small space between the step and the wall, so the hose attachment hose was the perfect answer. Again, make sure to check the void that you think you're treating is actually a void before pulling the trigger. Remember, this video is not meant to be a full training session on the blower or dusts. However, if you would like some training, or your, your staff at the toolbox meeting, etc., would like some training on that, feel free to contact me. Also, feel free to have a look uh, at our YouTube channel where there are other handy videos uh, similar to this one. Thanks for watching.